Welcome to the first boss fight of Camelot. You'll face the Knight of the Sun, Gawain. A thing to note about these fights, you'll always fight your opponent normally at first. During this state, they do not use their Noble Phantasm. They instead use their extra attack. Consider this an introduction to their skills, fight patterns, and them as a person. And then... The real fight begins. During these fights, you will notice a Holy Grail icon underneath their HP bar. Yes, each one of these bosses will be using the power of the gift to be absurdly powerful, giving each boss a certain gimmick. Our buddy Gawain's gimmick is having an extra layer of defense, making it a bit harder to put him down. The other elephant in the room is that he performs his Noble Phantasm every other turn. Let me emphasize this. Every other turn. That means every other turn you'll hear... Excalibur! And if you're not ready, you'll wind up deader than a rush on Saber Day. Still, this is not impossible. Thankfully, the community has been shouting about Camelot since the game came in the NA last year, so some of you are prepared. For those of you who are not, you're bored. So what can be done to stop Sunny D over here? I'll tell you what. Server recommendations for this fight will be Archer Base, but if you have a single target Berserkers or Jolter, they will work as well. The MVPs, however, will be Uriel, Robin Hood, and David. All of which are three-star archers that are relatively easy to get. Uriel is one of the most devastating servers to someone like Gawain. She has a skill that drains a noble phantasm while charging her own, a skill to charm males with high success rate, and if you've done her strengthening quest, her last skill increases her art performance by 30% on level 1, 50% on level 10. She is an arts archer. That just makes her MP hit even harder. Speaking of noble phantasms, it does more damage against males. I assume you see a trend here. She's tailor made to block out the sun, forcing Gawain to fight in the shade. If you haven't already, level her up quick. She won't steer you wrong. Next up, Robin Hood. The Man in Sights is a Saber Server's worst enemy. If you recall from our Arts Team setup video, I showcased how much damage he does to Sabres at 500% Noble Phantasm charge. That hasn't changed here. He still does that much damage. Add that to the fact that he has a skill to lower damage and apply poison to all enemies, he'll get a lot of utility. He also pairs very well with Uriel by being an Arts Archer. Make sure to use his Noble Phantasm at the end of the MP chain if you have it set up. Final server suggestion, David. David's skill setup is a great support for this fight. His second skill alone has cemented himself as a lifesaver for teams. Not only does it heal the team, it removes debuffs and it applies a one-time evade to each party member. That's a lifesaver. He also has a charisma to push through damage, and lastly, he has a defense bonus to keep himself alive. If you haven't leveled him up already, now is the time. For higher rarity suggestions, Orion... I'm sorry, Orion is pretty much the 5-star Uriel. She does great damage against Gawain, but strangely enough, I find Uriel to be a bit better. With her low cost, it makes it easier to stack the more effective crap chests on her. Obviously, Berserkers can work too, Cool Alter, Kentoki, Hercules, and even Shelter. The name of the game is Single Target. It'd be unwise to bring a server that hits the whole party unless you're in Gilgamesh. Those Noble Phantasms tend to not do enough damage to a single foe. Though there are a few exceptions to this rule, aka Gilgamesh, I keep it to single target Noble Phantasms for now. Crab Justices that I find useful for this fire is anything that increases the effectiveness of Arts cards, or whatever card focus your team is. The recent Crab Justice Golden Sumo in general is great here. And for more defensive options, Valumen, Hydra Gyrum, and Necromancy are also good. Yes, there's only a chance of Gus proccing with Necromancy, but if you don't have the other two CEs that are limited only to events with Guts effects, this is the best you got. On that note, that about does it. I'm sure there are quite a few of you who are ready to burn through Camelot faster than me getting body when I roll off against Shotgun Shogun, but for those of you who aren't, we're here for you. What are your suggestions for how to beat Gawain? Go ahead and tell us down in the comments below. My name is Musaki from Kadia Gurus. Logging up. Here comes a new challenger. Talk. Uzo, Uzo, Rashku, Nagi, Harazo. Escape from crossing fate. Fight. Ah, son of a bitch. 
Thank you for watching the video, senpai! If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell to be notified. Want to support us even more? Feel free to go to our Patreon and check us! Special thanks to the lovely names on the screen, and especially, special thanks to our patrons Devin Luca, Lucky Number 5, Yasashi Ifuyu, The Voice of St. Courts, AD876, Zamian347, Outlaw, Black Knight 21, Re Nico, Ravenleaf 182, and Nell Celestine. You masters are truly awesome. Now good luck and bye hearts and bye.